new poll out today shows a majority of Floridians want to change their pay this November. Amendment 2 would incrementally boost the state's minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2026. That's an increase of about $6. While supporters tell Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders it'll give them a living wage, those who oppose it worry that it will kill a recovering economy. Living about 50 cents above minimum wage hasn't been easy for Lee Van Pelt. Sometimes I don't know where the rent's going to come from or, you know, rob P Peter to pay Paul. Her market research job makes ends meet, but barely. Van Pelt is unable to afford health insurance, something she'd change if Amendment 2 passes. There's no way I can afford it now. A new Monmouth poll shows Florida voters favor an increase, about 67% saying they approve in a recent phone survey of just over 400 people, only 26% planning to vote against it. The minimum wage in Florida at $8.56 is, is incredibly low. Ben Polera with Florida for a Fair Wage is feeling cautiously optimistic about the survey's results, but saying he'd still love to grow his margins. We take nothing for granted. Obviously, you got to get 60% to pass a, uh, a constitutional amendment here in the state of Florida. Florida's tourism and hospitality industries are trying to stem the tide of support, painting a bleak picture of the future. The Florida Chamber and Restaurant and Lodging Association say the state's weakened economy can't afford the boost, a more than 75% payroll increase. It's not going to be what people think. Their internal research suggesting the state could see a cut of 158,000 jobs over the next five years. Once people are educated on Amendment 2, we find that the majority of the time they change their position. Florida's governor has taken issue with the amendment, saying last year it's going to damage the restaurant industry. Also, that tweaking it won't be easy, requiring another constitutional amendment.